In this video, we'll look at whether potassium oxide, that's K2O, forms ionic or covalent bonds. So when we look at the periodic table here, this is divided by metals and nonmetals. Potassium, K, is right here, group one. It's a metal, so we have a metal for potassium. Oxygen over here, that's a nonmetal. So we have a metal and a nonmetal. When we have a metal and a nonmetal, almost always, that's going to be an ionic bond. So the bond between the potassium atoms and the oxygen, that will be ionic. You might be wondering why there's two potassiums and only one oxygen. If we look at the periodic table again, this time we have the groups, the charge for the groups here. We look at potassium, that's in group one, so it has a one plus charge. We just put a plus up there. Oxygen over here, that has a two minus charge. So you can see, for this to be a neutral compound, for there to be no net charge, we need two potassiums to balance out the oxygen. And now we have positive and negative charges. They're attracted. Those ions, they're attracted. And that's why we have an ionic bond. This is Dr. B answering the question whether potassium oxide, K2O, is ionic or covalent. It is ionic. Thanks for watching.